Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Simple Sacred Home. My name is Paige and today we are heading to Hobby Lobby to look at their fall 2024 decor. If you're new here, this is actually a third part to a series that I'm doing where we go in store to look at fall decor for the 2024 season. So we've actually already been to Michael's and Home Goods. so make sure you like and subscribe so you can see those previous videos. I'll also have them linked here. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm very hopeful out of all three stores that Hobby Lobby will already have all their fall decor out. So we should be able to get a good look at what they have for the season. And then make sure you subscribe because we're going to be decorating. So if you're interested in fall home decor, make sure you stick around so that you can see in upcoming videos how I style our home for fall. And yeah, let's go in and see what we can find. Okay, so florals was what I was really looking for on this trip, specifically garland. So I headed to the floral section, and before I even reached the fall section, I found these roses. These look actually really realistic, and they had some beautiful colors. I was really impressed with the quality of these. They looked very realistic, but these were not on sale because they were not a part of the fall foliage section. I really liked these hydrangeas. If I were going to get any stems like this, it would have been the hydrangeas, but I didn't really need them for this trip, so I decided to leave them behind, but they were stunning. If you're looking for faux hydrangeas, these are beautiful. And then I found the fall floral section. They had about two rows at my Hobby Lobby, and then they had like end caps filled with florals. So I just started with this section here, looking to see what they had. Nothing was really grabbing my attention that much at first, but as we went, I found some that I liked. These I thought were really cool. They looked pretty realistic. They, I don't know what type of floral it's supposed to be, but they had them in multiple different shades. So they had this like burnt orange color. They had a neutral color. I did think these were really pretty and I did consider them, but ended up putting them back. These are really good for like fillers, I find, in like arrangements. They also had a bunch of the florals just laying on the floor. I really liked these. These were large stems, so if you had a huge vase that you wanted to stick some stems in, those would be really great. Or to do like a faux garland, you could use those as well. When it comes to florals, I, I like, like very realistic looking fall foliage, so I don't stick with like the super neutrals. I go for more of the reds and the oranges, and so I liked these, but these the quality weren't that great on. These floral stems I absolutely loved. I thought they were good quality. You got a whole bunch of them. So like one bunch would be enough for probably one vase. And if you wanted it fuller, you could do like two bunches and they were just stunning. I liked too that they could be used in the summer if you wanted to because they have a yellow flower to them but also they would definitely transition into fall and be used throughout the fall as well Hey guys, I wanted to pop into this video to let you guys know about a super exciting opportunity that I'm excited to share with you guys. So something that I've been wanting to do for a while now is to create a small group Bible study for those of you who may be interested in that. Starting September 16th, we're going to be going through the She Reads Truth Bible study through the books of Philippians and Colossians. It's a four-week study, so it's not 
much of a commitment and it's completely free. So we're gonna be using the GroupMe app. I'm gonna have all the information down below if you are interested. Basically, it's a four week study starting on September 16th. What I like about the She Reads Truth Studies is that they offer a workbook that you can purchase on their website. So if you are interested, you can get it that way. It has the scripture rate included in the workbook as well as questions, reflections, and beautiful art and photography included throughout it. So it's a really beautiful workbook. However, if you don't want to spend or can't spend the money on the workbook, we also have the She Reads Truth app, which is completely free. And you don't get all the extras that you get in the workbook, but you will get the scripture reading every day so that you can follow along. And then because we're gonna be discussing the questions over in the GroupMe app, you'll be able to see what the questions are. You'll be able to reflect and chat with other women who are reading through the same scriptures with you. So once again, all the information will be linked down below if you are interested, but I thought it would be a great opportunity to connect with other women if you're unable to attend a small group, or maybe you just can't commit to a longer study. A lot of times the studies are much longer. Once again, completely free, and it's all going to be through the chat app, so you don't have to be live at a certain time or anything like that. I hope you will consider it if it's something you're interested in, and let's get back to the video. Okay, I thought these pumpkins were cool, but then when I picked them up, they were just like paper mache type. They were super light. You know, I don't know if you would DIY them or what you would do with them. These brown wooden pumpkins were really beautiful though. So those are something I definitely gravitated towards. And then they had these, which weren't amber glass. They had a few amber glass style pumpkins, but these ones I thought were really pretty as well. Similar theme color. These ones were small and a good price. I actually got these pumpkins a couple years ago and they still had them. They're like a wicker and more mushrooms. I'm telling you, this year the mushrooms are everywhere. <laughs> and then they had these ceramic pumpkins, which are really pretty and good quality. And then I saw some of these wooden trays. I really like these bowls slash trays. My dad actually had made me one in the past. It looks very similar to that one, but... I thought that was really cute if you don't have one. And then this wreath. I found this wreath and I thought it was really beautiful. And so I was looking for a tag and I saw $14.99 and I was like 40% off. That is a great deal. But then when I went to pick up the wreath, it was actually like either $34.99 or $44.99. And I immediately put it back because it was pretty, but I wouldn't even want to pay that much or 40% off of that. And then this was all the garland they had. It was very either cheap looking or fake just artificial didn't really go with fall I did like this one but it was so thin that you would need multiple to really give it the look that you wanted okay so we just got out of Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby had a lot more out it was actually interesting to me though because either it's still early and so they haven't put everything out or I'm just expecting more than what they have out. I feel like usually during this time, also it's so hot in my car, so I'm like sweating, but usually I feel like during the fall season, it's like fall through up everywhere. I did not get that vibe. There was probably like five or six rows of like fall decor and then they had like the floral section separate. So they definitely had quite a few floral options. So if you're looking for florals, definitely check there before ordering online and they had a good amount of mix between like really artificial looking ones and ones that looked more realistic obviously the ones that are more realistic are more expensive but if you go right now they have 40 percent off i know like last week i think they had 50 percent off so you just have to like gauge you might be able to go in when they have the better sale but everything was 40 percent off today that i saw for fall decor and i was just so unimpressed with the garland so I decided to go a different route instead of garland for my florals this year and I'm excited to show you what I ended up picking up and then how we styled it hopefully it'll look good I think it might actually even look better than traditional garland but they had really faux artificial looking garland that was like $10.99 but even the more expensive garland was just not good and it was expensive it was like $44.99 so even though it would have been 40% off it just still wasn't 
a good price to me for the quality. So I went a different route. I'm really happy with what I found and hopefully we'll be able to make a beautiful garland inspired mantle for fall. So make sure once again, you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more like this and just fall content in general. And I'll see you guys next week for the haul.